but we definitely did get a wide scope of perspective on people who wanted referendums and people who wanted uh, mixed member proportional systems or STV systems or people who uh, thought it was absurd to change the voting system that we had. There, were, you know, there was a whole um, broad perspective on that, and so. Uh, I'll read you just a couple of uh, paragraphs um, just from the report because I think it gives you a very good sense. Over the past six months, the Special Committee on Electoral Reform has consulted broadly with Canadians from coast to coast to coast on electoral reform. This report is the outcome of the committee's consultation and deliberations. Three overreaching themes emerged which have guided the committee through its deliberations. The first is to consider our democracy as being an ecosystem made up of various governance institutions, such as Parliament and the Public Service. The public and civil society organizations that all interact and influence each other. As such, it is important for us to consider how changing how we vote will impact other elements of the democratic ecosystem. For example, how should we ensure that there is sufficient civic education to strengthen, strengthen public engagement through a period of change. What will be the impact of an electoral change on Parliament and the assumed rules and conventions, cabinet and confidence, the public service, the functioning of political parties, the country's political culture? These were all very important factors uh, in coming to some conclusion or recommendations for the government that the committee had to look at. And you're going to see this if you have taken a look at the report. Later on, we can get into some of the recommendations that the committee made and a few of the other supplemental reports that we had at the end. But I, I do think that it would be an understatement to say that the impact that any electoral system has on various parts of our governance ecosystem um, is not minor, and it should definitely be looked at. And that's one thing we weren't able to do uh, in as much detail as we would have liked over the 57 meetings that we had. You know, we definitely jumped, delved into uh, what the different systems out there are. We looked at um, unique systems that uh, Canadians had created uh, through a lot of hard work that they put in at home. And uh, there were some really great innovative ideas. And uh, so we didn't just look at the conventional systems. We looked at some, you know, somewhat new uh, different types of systems that were created by people in our own country, but there's a lot of challenges we have in this country. And I know Yasmin spoke to us about some of those challenges as well. Having traveled to the north, um, a lot of what we heard was a lot different than what we hear in Toronto or Ottawa or in Vancouver or Quebec or a lot of places we go to. It was it was quite different. Uh, Iqaluit, I would say, was probably some of the most unique testimony that we had. Um, but still, the Northwest Territories and the Yukon had a very interesting perspective, too. And they consider themselves to be very distinct um, regions of Canada. And they would not appreciate being lumped in uh, into a larger region and to have represent their representation come from uh, the Yukon if they lived in the Northwest Territories or in Iqaluit. It's, it's quite of a challenging, a challenging place to be. Uh, having gone to Iqaluit, I had never realized that, you know, they have 25 communities that are not accessible by road, that you have to fly to each community to have any contact with them. It's quite the challenge for an MP out there. Um, and so these are some of the unique geographical differences from other countries that we definitely have to consider going forward and how we create uh, a system that would satisfy all Canadians, uh, truly all Canadians and in all different uh, geographic locations. And some of the ideas were, you know, perhaps creating a different rural urban system that uh, worked differently for those two different areas because of the geography. And that's something that uh, we looked at quite closely as well.